All right, so taking notes. It's an important part of research, and you need to know how to do it efficiently. You don't want to take and write down everything that you can possibly can, because sometimes you won't need it. You want to make sure you know what you need, and then you, you take proper strategies to do so. Um, and you also don't want to write down everything that is you find on an informational page, because if you do, you, have, you increase your chances of copying that information in your report, and that's considered plagiarism. So we want to be careful. So here's some strategies that will help you take notes. So ways to be a good reader of informational text. So as we talked about earlier, you can skim and scan. And the difference, difference is um, when you scan something, you're looking for keywords or bolding or something like that. You're doing these two bullets right here. And then if you skim, you're looking for, you're, you read it, but you don't read it fully. You're not reading it like you would in, in your reading class. You're reading it just to get the basic of the information. And then if you realize it's, it's something important, you can go back and reread it in full. Okay? So we're going to go to a website, and we're going to practice some of these. So we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth. And you're going to be doing this, too, at the end of this. So what you're going to have to do is pull up this checklist, which is in your Google Docs um, under, it's called Taking Notes Checklist. And you're going to use this um, to practice on one of your websites that you, you would like to use. Okay, so what we're going to do is I have a tab open for the Underground Railroad, and I'm at the National Geographic, and sometimes this happens. So we're just going to say no. National Geographic for Education, and it's the Underground Railroad, and we're going to go to our note-taking. We're going to look for keywords. We're going to use all of these strategies. We're going to use the table of contents, the index, the glossary. And yes, websites do have these, as well as a book. And usually the table of contents will be in the beginning of the book. The index will be in the back of the book. And that can tell you and locate where um, a specific uh, word you're looking for is located. And the glossary. We're going to go into this, this one right here. We'll actually have a lesson on locating these things in a book. Okay. So we're going to pay attention to captions and pictures. Um, no, we're going to realize that we might have to read everything just to, so we understand it. And then we can make a table um, or a line diagram. And this is actually your gathering grid. And that's your table. It's, we already have it made. Okay? So we're going to go and look. And we're going to look for, we're going to skim the page. And we're going to scan it. We're going to look for keywords. Now, if you remember, my topic was on Mer Underground Railroad, um, the routes. So I'm scanning this page to see if anything, you know, like a, t a table of contents of some sort pops up at me. And I see this right here, and I say, Roots to Freedom. So already I know I scanned the page, and I found something that might work. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to see where it takes me. And while, we're while we're waiting for it to load, I'm going to go back and refresh my memory on... Okay, so I'm going to... Be aware of headlines now. I'm going to pay attention to the captions. I'm going to look for keywords. So I'm going to skim and scan. Okay, now we're back. And let's see what it pops up. So we we have a visual. Okay, this is not necessarily information, but oh wait, if I scan the page further, down at the bottom, it gives me background information. It tells me a little bit about what things are. So now I found the information. And now I need to know what to do with it. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to keep going. Now we have the ABC Lou of note taking strategies. So the A stands for abbreviations, bullets, caveman language, lists, one word for several, and use your own words. So this right here is going to be um, uh, our strategy. This is uh, an acrostic poem or an acronym for us to use. Okay, moving on. Abbreviations. So when we're taking notes, we can shorten words so we don't have to write out the whole thing. Because when we take notes, we want to be efficient. We don't want to have to write everything out. And now again, remember, this is one of the only times in your writing class or in any class where spelling and things of that nature are not going to be counted for because this isn't your final product. You're just getting the information. Okay? So if you look at some examples for doctor, it would be DR, but you notice the capital, and etc. Okay? Another strategy when taking notes is bullets. You could bullets are kind of like a list of some sort, but it's a bulleted list, a little more organized. So what we're going to do is we're going to go create a document, 
and you already actually have this, and yours is called your report notes. Okay, so you can, yours is called your report notes already. You can just open this document up and just add to it. Well, we're going to do this for the sake of this exercise. We're going to have a new one, and we're going to do some. So Underground Railroad was a network, so I'm going to skim this information. But can I skim now? If I go back to this, my list, it says, knowing that sometimes reading every word is necessary. So I've skimmed the information so far, and I've found that this is going to be valuable. So now I'm going to actually have to read it in full and make sure. So we had was it? Enslaved black Americans to attain their freedom in the 30 years before the Civil War. Okay. All right. So I can write and take my note and say I'm going to do a bulleted list, or I'm going to do some abbreviations. The Underground Railroad um, was a network of what was that again? So we just go back. A network used by enslaved black Americans to obtain their freedom in the 30 years before the Civil War. Wow. So we go to our report notes. It says railroad network of uh, what was called slaves um, used 30 years before Civil War. Okay, we're just taking notes. That's all it is. We're learning how to take notes efficiently. Okay, make a list. Caveman language. Got an idea? Talk better. Combine words, make sentences. Now all that is cavemen talk. Got idea? Talk better. Now that's just you don't add in. Sometimes a lot of you are actually pretty good at this when you're text talking. Okay, you're not actually saying the whole word out or the whole sentence. You can get just what you want. So in this instance, text talk or cavemen talk might have assist you. And then you make a list. We all make lists for something. Um, what you need to do, grocery lists, etc. So when doing research, you can also make lists of countries from the Romans conquered, you know, things that you need. So if it's Underground Railroad, maybe it's lists of um, towns that were um, known as the safe towns or safe houses. Or maybe it's a list of people who helped in the Underground Railroad. Okay? The next one. One word for several. Several. So this is paraphrasing. I'm going to skip over this because we're going to do a paraphrasing lesson and then use your own words similar to paraphrasing read the information through without looking at the original material write your own version when you do this you are saving yourself from actually plagiarizing and again plagiarizing can be a bad thing we'll have a lesson on that as well okay so from here we're we're going to now have you go to your document uh, the one that I talked to you about earlier and I want you to open up a website and I want you to just practice. Now this isn't meaningless practice. This is actual practice that could assist you with taking notes. So go to a website that you actually have found as a valid source and practice taking notes from it and use your gathering grid to do so. Good luck.